Taking a look at the weather now, Jesse Rickett is here with us. And you know, I was kind of surprised that we had records yesterday for sort of mid late <laughs> December. It, it was a weird record to break. I believe it was in 1896 is how old the record was, but it was only for 2.8 inches. So apparently December 22nd, not a snowy December's day. December's not our snowiest month, is it? I no, mean, it is no. it usually, I mean, January. So. Definitely January. Although right now uh, we're looking at the storm patterns at these storm systems just keep on coming right through southeastern Wisconsin, and I think that will start to change as we get into January. But it's certainly feeling like a very snowy month, certainly for southeastern Wisconsin. Now, right now, we are between two systems. That big monster one that came through yesterday, of course, and brought all that snow is bringing rain and some, yeah, even freezing rain. My aunt in Vermont called me and said, yeah, they're getting some of those, uh, that freezing rain causing a lot of troubles for us. We just had this very weak disturbance. This is a little short ripple in the jet stream that's creating some light snow. A few flurries that are flying through southeastern Wisconsin now. High pressure off to our west, and that's going to swing in tonight and into tomorrow. That will clear out the skies, but it'll also pull down the cold. So we return to the chilly temperatures. Let's take a look outside, though. Right now in Kenosha, there were just a few flurries earlier, but you can see actually the sun trying to work its way through. There was a really nice sunrise earlier this morning, if you caught that, although it looks kind of gloomy still in Milwaukee at the airport now. And yeah, a few flakes still possible throughout the rest of the afternoon. Not going to see much more than an inch throughout the entire day today. Temperatures, of course, are falling behind that snow. 19 degrees right now in Milwaukee. The winds, though, about 10 to 15 miles an hour, making it feel a little bit colder. High temperature today, well, this is basically for your afternoon. 20 degrees. We already hit our early morning uh, low temperature, which is actually the high. A little odd. 22 degrees was our temp at midnight. We're continuing to fall. We'll be around 17 degrees by 5 p.m. But yeah, there's that old record. 1896, only 2.8 inches. So I guess if you have a wedding to plan for next December, try and plan that on December 22nd. Not a very snowy day, at least historically. Here goes that short wave or that short little ripple in the jet stream. Again, few flurries still possible tonight, but I think high pressure is moving in a little faster, so we should be drying out overnight. More sunshine expected on Tuesday, but it's it's going to be a struggle to even stay in the teens throughout the day, so the cold is returning. Tuesday night, though, Christmas Eve, as Santa arrives, so does the snow. Here comes another storm system. This will bring about one to two inches. Could see an isolated three inch total Tuesday night and into Wednesday. Of course, that is Christmas morning. We'll call that the Christmas snow. If you are going to be traveling on Christmas Day, going to be looking at the snow showers tapering off throughout the afternoon. So like I was saying, these are the common storm paths right centering right around the Great Lakes region. That's why we've been very snowy as far as Christmas Day is concerned. The jet stream down to the south and of course that's going to keep us slightly cooler and Look at tonight, two, two degrees in Milwaukee, one below in Waukesha. Flurries coming to an end, more sunshine for Christmas Eve day. Not a bad day for traveling as long as you leave before about 8 o'clock. That's when those light snow chances enter the forecast. Again, could see one to two inches. Could see an isolated three inch total Tuesday night and into Christmas morning. Then drier Christmas Eve nights and cold returns after that. We'll be right back.